That's a tough out. Okay, there we go. Excellent cheese. I might even say it's Gouda. <laughs> Sorry. Old joke. Bad joke. Good cheese, though. Smoked Gouda. Tangy, but not overpowering. Oh, hello. I'm Paul Woody, sports columnist for the Richmond Times Dispatch, and welcome to the world of Woody, where today we're talking about talk. We're talking baseball. And baseball, like every other sport, has its own language. Now, we thought it would be a good idea to spend some time this summer explaining some of the language of baseball, such as good cheese. Now, during a game, players have time on their hands between innings. They can go in the clubhouse and change from a dirty, sweaty uniform into a clean, dry uniform. They can even get a snack. That has nothing to do with good cheese. Good cheese is a pitcher who has a fastball that's coming in so hard players can barely see it, much less hit it. Or it's a fastball that has so much movement on it players can't get a bead on it. Now that's good cheese. Oh my. Cheddar. Excellent cheese. You just can't beat it. Next, we have the grass cutter. Now, the grass cutter conjures up an image of someone out cutting the grass. But let me be clear about something. I don't like cutting grass. Why do you think we had so many of those notorious Woody brothers? To cut the grass. And now that they're gone, the lovely Mrs. Woody cuts the grass. Hey, she loves working in the yard, and it would be cruel of me to take that away from her. Hey, she's married to me. How much other enjoyment could she have in life? Anyway, a grass cutter in baseball is a ground ball hits so hard that it seems to cut the grass as it blazes its way through the infield. Now, the first grass cutter I saw was when my father took me to my first Major League Baseball game. It was in Washington, and the Cleveland Indians were playing the Washington Senators. And the Senators had a player, Frank Howard, who was about 6'7", and must have weighed 280. And he hit a ball so hard that I could just about hear the grass sizzling as it made its way through the infield. Now that's a grass cutter that I don't mind at all. And that brings us to ducks on the pond. Now when someone mentions ducks on the pond, I tend to think of those halcyon days when the children were young and we'd grab the stale bread and tear it into pieces and come and feed the Winter. ducks on the pond. Uh -oh. But in baseball, ducks are not allowed on the field. However, when a team has runners in scoring position, second and third base, the ducks are on the pond. And a base hit will drive in one of those ducks, maybe even both. However, a hitter who leaves too many ducks sitting on the pond eventually will find himself in a setting like this, feeding the ducks on the pond. That's baseball. I'm Paul Woody, trying to keep my ducks in a row for the Richmond Times-Dispatch.